guys, this is uh, Wolfie here. Um, yeah, you kind of guessed it. I'm actually back into doing um, the City Opera Omnia content. Uh, however, I won't be doing me much more of this type of content for a little while. I just have a bunch of stuff going on in my personal life that will be getting my attention for the time being. Um, some people may know, maybe not. I will be at the state Thanksgiving week, so there will be zero videos coming from me at all for, for a while in November. However, I do want to touch into the whole Pandemonium EX, and this is inspired by the late Zelts. So this is how to get the EX, and I mean completion, without having Saz or Waka. It is doable without those two in the party. And this is the party I actually brought in into that fight and managed to get a completion which is Ferris, Lena, and Maria. Now, the reason why I brought in two healers instead of one is that Maria actually possesses the weakness to wind, it's, um, which the boss has. And you face five waves of the boss. And then I bring in Lena because she actually prevents Steven's ailments from happening. And believe me, this boss does have them in each at some point if they if he decides to target everyone. So she's actually a very useful character to bring in. Now you're wondering why the fuck Ferris? Ferris does a two in one with cannon fire. She dispels and she debuffs at the same time. And I'm looking forward to her awakening when cannon fire goes after everybody and their mothers. So anyway, this is going to be my setup here for the um, Pandemonium EX. And the reason why he's showing that with that spelling here on the club aside, believe it or not, the EU or the European Union and the North American versions of Final Fantasy VIII have Pandemonium spelled as Pandemona. And for that reason being of character space limitations, which means if you played Final Fantasy VIII, you were only limited to nine characters. However, the City Opera Omnia kind of said, eh? And went with the correct spelling. So this is going to be the party I am bringing in into the Pandemonium EX. I'm going to show everybody it, that it is, in fact, doable without Sans and without Waka. So let me get into the choice of Pandemonium. And I, like I said, I will point out that at the moment, my Pandemonium is at level 20. I've already completed this, as you can see. Excuse me. And you may be able to hear some stuff in the background. I'm actually at a grocery store at the moment. So, oddly enough, my the, the 35 CP weapon for Lena is not at level 35, but that's okay. So, we're going to look at the enemies. You got the Iron Giants, you got the Garuda, you got five ways of this guy. The Ar Archeoe Archeoevis. So, that's the main element he's weak to, which is win. However, however, it's the, it, his form differs by wave. So, he has a resistance to attack down, but he also has a... He's pretty much glass with defense down, speed down, and force. So, the first form, he's weak to wind. Second form, he's weak to fire, but resistant to ice. Resist down, but he also has paralysis. Third form, you flip it. He's weak to ice, but he's resistant to fire, and he also uses poison. Fourth form, weak to thunder, resistant to water, resist down. And then the fifth form is back to win. It's pretty much he goes pretty much goes into full circle. So these are all the skills you need to know about this guy. And like I said, this is actually doable with these three. And with Lena, she heard the wind, her second ability, which is wind trick arrow. That prevents your party from getting hit with status ailments. Now I'm gonna bring in, see if I can find the unit that I dragged along here. 
to help me out here. Let me see if that person, that, the actual unit was there. Because when I initially completed it, it was actually a Questus. Uh, and so, but however, it does look like I don't have that unit. So I am actually see if I can find a comparable unit, which is probably I'm probably going to be dragging it in here the um, SID unit, the SID, SID support unit, I should say. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to bring in our friend Sid because again he's weak. Because the final boss, he's actually weak to win. So I'm going to try this out. So I may do a re-record until I get the Quistus unit. So. Now, I will stay here for the first couple of ways. You want to keep it simple. You don't want to burn through too many of the um, abilities because you want to make sure that you have enough for the five ways. So with theirs, I'm going to go with Water World because you do not want to use Cannon Fire before Water World because Cannon Fire, if you use that first before Water World, Cannon Fire has a less chance of sticking. And in, by the stick is the deep buffs. So you want to use Water World first to, to up the chance. Now I'm going to use a quick use, I'm going to have a quick use of um, Rapid Fire. This one guy, don't have to worry about it. Now let's see here with Maria. And this is that. Okay, this is gonna to do a second one of that. Like I said, I'm just keep it. You can tell it. Just keep it simple. And you also notice I use one usage of the um, proper shot for Maria. Hers is at two star, so that's kind of another reason why I'm bringing her along. And the reason why you don't want to go overboard is for the simple reason that. You don't want to go over there because it's like you're running your risk into HP damage as well as running the risk of blade breaks. And that, and that could be a pain to build back up. So, so just gotta keep it simple for, for a while. You don't want to go over more. Use one more of the proper shot, and that brings Maria's max bravery up. This is how, okay. It's like, yeah, screw this. Now we are here at the first wave. I don't even know if he is targeting Lena. Now you see here, now that's just why I waited. Why I used Water War before Cannon Fire because I managed to get his defense down as well as his max bravery down. So I'm gonna use the first usage of Wind Drake Arrow. Again, this gives immunity to status Sam. It's upon usage. I know. Now notice to here, I did what I do proper shot. I give Maria some Rex bravery back. So I'm going to do this. Okay, this is 
this way too. This is a uh, this is one of those. It's targeting everyone. Okay. And that's a deep buff this spell queen right there. Yep, and I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> And now notice that with the passes I have on for Maria, she actually gets some bravery back from Errol Rain. Now Maria's gonna handle this one. She's got this. Position. Yeah. Enough. Like I say, this is like I said, this is one hundred percent doable without sales or walker. Now I'm going to re-establish the bolt that comes with Windrake Arrow. Hmm. Should I buff now? Should I summon now? Okay, this is to screech, this is a buff. Okay. Oh, yes. And once again, can of fire plus, baby. That gets rid of everything. Okay, so surprisingly, I'm at the second to the last wave. Sir, so I'm going to reestablish with Drake Arrow. Okay, this is gonna be proper stretch. Hmm. Now I'm gonna shut it because I'm just feeling freaking lazy right now. Now I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna do a bit of a controversial decision.
me the absolute daylights out of Dragon Dive. Actually, be one without Sans or Walker. And I, oddly enough, you kind of knows I swapped out Harris for Sid. It's a, it's a bit of a casual decision on my, my end, but it's my video, and I just felt like doing it. And I actually got away without any damage taken, although I got was given a couple of brave breaks. But it is what it is, and it's actually doable. So. Again, I will have a video out soon, as soon as I'm able to with what I've been up to outside of creating content for the city of Opera Amia. And I do have an announcement coming up in December evolving my future with Final Fantasy Free Axios. So I will catch you all on the flip side.